So hello, my, my name is Pierre Souberon. I'm a medical oncologist in uh, Bordeaux and involved in uh, geriatric oncology since many years from the, the beginning uh, of Sayog or even before. Uh, well, uh, I'm focused mainly on the management of all the patients with cancer and uh, uh, we have uh, uh, designated uh, a protocol that uh, we have developed uh, within, uh, well, uh, associated with Sayog, that is a, a partner of, uh, of this European project. It's called Geronte. And Geronte is, uh, well, uh, a different way to uh, manage patients, uh, especially multimorbid older patients, where we propose uh, a, a patient-centered approach, uh, centered by the nurse, so the nurse is at the center close to the patient and is uh, um, at the center since it, it works, she works with uh, all the, 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 as professional consortium of the patient that is uh, his general practitioner, uh, the, the oncologist, the geriatrician, but also the, the specialists of the different comorbidities, whatever the they're working in the hospital or uh, in private practice, for example, uh, close to the home of the patients. So that's uh, the, the way we organize the nurse at the center and the consortium of, uh, of physicians or health professionals that manage the patients. First thing. Then the nurse has the role to maintain the, all the information that the physician will need for decision making. Uh, and she has to maintain it for everyone available uh, to, to manage the patients. And the, the way it works is uh, thanks to a digital app uh, that is developed by, uh, by Patient Space, who is a, a company, a digital company from Ireland, and who, who propose, uh, well, multiple tools, three tools, First, uh, a dashboard with uh, all the information of the patient, uh, that is uh, cancer data, but uh, how the patient is living, whether he's in, a, in an apartment or a house, uh, in the countryside or in the town, at the, at the ground level or at the third floor. Well, everything that is important. Then we have data about comorbidities, about geriatric assessment, but also information about uh, decision making for, for shared decision making. So we ask the patient what are the objectives they have for the treatment, whether they want to, to, uh, to be cured or whether they want to, to uh, preserve uh, uh, autonomy, for example. And uh, what is the play they want to have in terms of decision making, whether they want to participate in decision making or whether they don't, whether they, uh, well, they trust the, 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 the physical team, the, the physician team, and they want the, 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 the physician to decide for them, or whether they want to have all the arguments and make their own decision at the end. And furthermore, there is a follow-up tool that is a collection of uh, patient reported outcomes uh, that is for the patient. So the patient has a tool at home, digital tool, so it can be on a, on a tablet or on a, a phone, for example. And then he answers questions on a daily, weekly, or monthly, monthly questions about uh, how he feels. And uh, this goes to... Uh, a server where the, the, the nurse of the patient will follow up the, the, the symptoms, what, what happens, and then take decisions whether uh, she should call the patient back or whether she uh, has to ask the patient to come back to the hospital or to see the GP, for example. And finally, the third tool that we have is a, a, a library of advice for the patient, depending on the symptoms uh, he or she declares. So if, if she declares uh, a, a lot of symptoms, for example, for, for example, diarrhea, uh, then the, the diarrhea uh, advices will, uh, will come up and uh, will be shown to the patient so he can follow the advices of, of, of the patient. So we will uh, follow the patient uh, 
every three months for a year. And uh, the, the main objective of uh, this study is to improve quality of life of the patient and also to work on cost effectiveness, uh, about satisfaction of the patient, satisfaction of the health professionals and so on. So, uh, well, that's the main point. I think the, the organization we have is first a clinical trial, which is uh, for those who know the step wedge design and uh, then to propose uh, um, a cost-effectiveness study uh, for the patients, uh, to, uh, for, for us to have uh, all the information and convince the authorities that uh, this is something wise to, to develop. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.